Can you be a successful researcher? The Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Mirelands. Uh, your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Ooh, new area. I'll let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles of the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. That's why you get little floaties on your wrist. Uh, we did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Oh. Uh, now I heard reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island uh, the Lord used to call his home. I've also had received word from both the security corps and supply corps. Uh, it seems some of the members were attacked by a ghost while gathering materials around the fire... Fire spit? Fire spit island. Uh, these are serious concerns and moreover my clan just can't tolerate this Desecration, there we go. Of our late lord's seat. Uh, normally I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Picking up what you're putting down, sir. Uh, I'm supposed to be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry. Oh, bless. Think nothing of it. Uh, Zoe is a talented and hardworking member of Team Galaxy. Well, Galaxy Team, sorry. I keep saying the wrong way. Sure, she sorted out. Uh, Zoe Quarled at the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. Okay, here's my question, right? Oh, I'll, I'll give you my question after this. The next area for you to investigate will be uh, the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield on the Crimson Mylands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the coastlands. All right. I have to turn into. I don't think I've got another level up for you yet. Um, my question is right. This kid's like fallen through a rift in time and space. They're like, did did no one ask her like, hey, where's your mum? You know, like no one's gone like, hey, do you remember anything before you fell through the hole in space? Like, you know? Like, eh, more bodies to tend the fields, I guess. Right, I've got Cind I've got Cyndaquil as my um my starter. Uh, speaking of who we've got, we've got um we can evolve Luxray Romano and Vin Buizel. Are we emotionally ready for that? Are we ready to evolve these two champions? I need to make more balls. Oh. Oh. I don't know how many more levels we need for Philava. But, um, or what requirements. I think, let's do it. Vin Boisel. Let's do it. If you guys are here, need the early morning squad. My early morning. So dramatic. I love, like, their silhouette with, like, the yellow eye. It's so intense. Yeah, shiny Yanma for Wink. Oh my god. Legit. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a stressful catch. A bit of a stressful catch for that one. But I uh, Pokédex entry. Shiny Yanma. Alright, Luxray Romano can finally have its matching name. <laughs> with what it is. Cool. Yeah, he like had his head in the bin, Lil. I was like, why are you in the bin? Uh, there's like one singular chip that I dropped on the floor. It's in the bin. I don't know if you can smell it in there and he's trying to like go for it. Get out. Trying to go for a, a look in there or something. Uh, how do you know when for level? I honestly don't know, Via. I don't know what the requirements are for evolving. I don't know if it's just level or um because there are things like in the Pokédex. Um these objectives have to do for you know the research level i don't know if the research level possibly affects you know um your level up for it and things like that i have i'm not sure 
Yeah. Oh, you should do more agile and strong moves with um Quillava to get its research up as well. But yeah. Yeah, the, the it's so like dramatic. The new evolution. Should we go to the new okay. Let's go to the new area, and then I feel like we should probably do some of the side missions today as well, because if we start progressing too far, it might be a little bit, um, might get a little bit silly in terms of if we get too far ahead of, like, catch me a wormpool sort of thing. Hey, Lien. Our cowboy friend. Though I suppose it's uh, to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, both? <laughs> oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Paulina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. Or oh, Paulina. She's a warden, and yes, she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though I, not to her face. <sighs> oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be. Oh, am I going more into that old timey hum? Perhaps I shouldn't be airing the dirty laundry, and that piece of advice then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which holds mysterious power. And with the right stone, you can evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than the Cleavor for proof of that. What I'm saying is, you can basically, <laughs> basically this, if you and your survey call want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon in this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. It's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. Boy, howdy. Uh, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create in the universe. <laughs> Trust to take my advice to heart and not be underestimating how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you. Into me. I'll give you some of these rather handy stones and things I found. Thank you. For the pebbles. Uh, can raise the effort level of one Pokemon stats. It can be used only if the effort level is at least level six and no greater than level eight. Huh. Interesting. Mysterious Gravel can raise the effort level of one Pokemon stats. It can be used only if the effort level is at least three levels, no greater than level five. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I haven't seen any of like the, n I mean, I, I guess in terms of like the new Pokemon we've seen, it's only been like the, um, uh, like the Warden's Pokemon. We haven't, I haven't physically seen any of the new Hisuians uh, in the flesh, so to speak. So, um, from the trailers, I am smitten with, uh, shiny, uh, Hisuian Zerua. I really want that, that bad boy on my team. Um, but otherwise I haven't really seen uh seen many to be honest <laughs> she is sparkle how are you doing poker player what's up what's with the sass via settle down jesus <laughs> Man, the swimming video, I was just like, the, 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 the soul crushing. I was just like, oh, we can do this. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, Ernest, thank you for the follow. Sean, thank you as well. And GD, thank you too. What's up, Pipe? Welcome back. How are we doing? Uh, the Cobalt Coastlands, simply lovely corner of Hisui. Uh, sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kind of Pokemon await us here? I wonder. Water types, flying types. Ooh, uh, can't wait to study them all. <laughs> look, my, look, my, I'm swimming. Look, my, no floaties. Uh. Uh, any questions before you get started? Uh, wardens, in fact, uh, here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find pa uh, Polina, the Pearl Clan, and Iskin of the Diamond Clan. Perhaps they'll be of some help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. Cool. Um, what I was going to say, question. Question. Uh, what do you guys call floaties where you are in the world? Like if you're, if there's a kid learning to swim and they get like the, the floaties on the arm, the little floaties so they can float. Like the one on your back is called, like we call it a bubble here. The little floaty pad. What do you guys call like arm floaties? Armbands, really? 
Bands, that's so cute. See, I'd be like, if you've got to put some bands on to swim, I'd be like, you're just going to be weighed down. Water wings. <laughs> Water wings is so cute. <laughs> Water wings. We call them sh swim flugel. Also what, swimming wings. That's swim flugel wins. I'm going to don my swim flugel. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so fun. In Polish, uh, <clears throat> Rakowski? Rakowski in Polish is, uh, I'm gonna find out what that, what does that translate to? <laughs> Sleeves. Sleeves in Polish. <laughs> Sleeves, that's so cute. Uh, svom, svom, svom ringa. Like swim ring, like a swimming ring. Swimming ring, nailed it, swimming rings. Swimmeringir. Oh, the G's are always so much softer, hey? Swimmeringir. Ringir. Yeah. It's never like G. Like, yeah, g'day, mate. You'd be like, g'day, mate. Very nice and soft G's. <laughs> oh, dude. Schwim, schwim, schwim flugel is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Pollyanna, that's so wholesome. You just, water's not your jam. You and water don't vibe. Portuguese, they're clamps. <laughs> Braçadeiras. Braçadeiras. That's so good. Little arm clamps. <laughs> that's so good. Clamps. I love, and they all make sense. Like every single, like the the translation, like Polish sleeves makes sense. Swimming wings makes sense. Floaties makes sense. Clamps. You you can't get those buggers off your arm. They are they're on there. Makes sense. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and what's this? Uh, Killer Keat. For also floaties. What flavor are we going with there? Which language is this? For Reno. Uh, I do love the flute. It feels if, uh, as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. Uh, but I'm here, and so are you. And so I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Oh, okay. All right, let's do it. So our hands. Uh, very good. You've seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. I'll finish. Fun. I was going to say, it sounds very, like, very fun. Get lucky. Okay. Oh, can look it. Okay, okay. Um, I see. I always put the emphasis on the wrong things, man. Can look it. Uxie, can look it. Kitos. One water wings, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, ah! Oh my God! Get beamed, Phil. Um, I'll try and obliterate the Glaceon, just so that I can, um, get the XP at least on Phil, hopefully. And I'll swap him out. Oh my god. Phil. Do I knock it? Maybe I will. Um, mm -mm -mm. I don't even think I have any fighting moves, so I can just use whatever. Each time I cried because her shoes were wet, I wasn't bothered that for minutes I was in pain. <laughs> You're like, I'm sorry I wet your shoes, like to the teacher. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, man, like stressful situations. Everyone reacts a bit differently. And here's on the flo on the flip side, right? You were, you were bound to your floaties. Totally valid, totally fair. If you're not a good swimmer, you know, I don't think they want a kid to drown at school. Um, I I was in swimming classes, like I was like out of the womb and straight into swimming classes because mum's always in the water. We were like, we don't want our kid to drown. So like always knew how to swim. 
then like eventually started like proper, you know, swim training, like, you know, swimming lessons. Yeah, it's pretty common in Australia. Most kids do swimming lessons. Um, <clears throat> so it's like you start off in the, the kindy class and you're like three or something. Um, so like you've moved beyond just like swimming around with your parents and like that sort of thing. Uh, and you have to, in, in, the, in the group one, you have to wear a bubble, which is a floaty on the back. Um, with like, you know, they, they can change how many discs are in the floaty on the back. Um, and I chucked the world's biggest tantrum and like forced, like this thing's clipped around your waist, right? So the kid doesn't, dr I'm like forced this thing like off me, like quick, so I couldn't unclip it because I'm a three-year-old. I don't have the dexterity. I'm like, scrum, I'm like, I know how to swim. I don't need a floaty. And like removed this thing, like sweezled out of it like a noodle. And they were just like. All right, so next week you can be in the next class up because I, like, refused to participate if I was going to be treated like a child as a three-year-old <laughs> in swim class. <laughs> oh, bless. But, you know, in their defense, I'm sure they don't want kids just, like, drowning left, right and center. Uh... <laughs> Let me to heal you. Thank you. I love that they heal you up after the fires. It's so efficient. Uh, it is. It is, Jenga. It's a grail of that, but you can get it as a mystery gift pretty early on. And until today, you used to be treated like a three. <laughs> exactly. I will not tolerate it. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clans leader. Oh, bless. But in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. Uh, oh god, I have a, I have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. Oh, uh, but Lena, that is to say, Polina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We're both in running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Oh. I have a favour to ask. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. Aww. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. Uh, and if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. Cute. Assert dominance early in life. Honestly, Diddy, that's maybe that was my that was my forming moment of like, I can do it myself. <laughs> I don't need your help! <laughs> You're not beyond hope, Pollyanna. Not beyond hope at all. My, um, my nan, so, like, didn't really get the chance to learn how to swim because, you know, the war in Poland. Um, and had, like, a really scary experience as a kid. Like, she fell into a river. Uh, she fell into a river, like, as a kid and couldn't swim. And was like drowning. Um, I think she either managed to like, like get the current or like get kind of grab something to get out. Um, uh, so like, did not like the water. Full stop. Moves to Australia, girt by sea. Um, she learnt to swim like far later in life because she was just going like stand in the water at the beach, but like didn't want to get in the water. Um, you know, mum, mum taught her to swim because mum was always doing like swim classes and stuff. So, um, you know, she doesn't like it, but she can do it sort of thing. But, um, you're never too, never too late to learn. Never too late to learn. But yeah, the, uh, the traumatic childhood near drownings are probably not going to help in, uh, getting started in terms of the confidence thing. <laughs> Oh no, Iona, no. Oh no. Bless. Bless, bless, bless. Look, I totally recommend, um, well actually, if you guys don't live in Australia, if you ever come to Australia, okay, here's the hot tip. If you are not a confident swimmer, here is my, here is my PSA to you. 
So always big hot tip. If you're afraid of swimming, if you don't like it, blah, blah. Most places in Australia, there's ocean baths and they're roped off. And it's like, you might be like, that's the kiddie pool. It's for everyone. You can go to the ocean baths. Um, if you go to the beach and you are a bad swimmer and you go, oh, there's waves there. I don't want to get hit by the waves. Oh, there's a calm patch with no waves. Do not swim in the calm patch. Do not swim in the calm bit of water. That is a rip and you will get sucked out into the ocean. Swim between the flags. Like even if there's waves and stuff, between the flags, there's, there's lifeguards watching you. Do not go and find the quiet bit with no waves. You will drown. You won't drown, you might be one, but like, that's like the number one thing is like a lot of tourists that don't have beaches and stuff are like, oh, I don't wanna, you know, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't, oh, I'll go find this little quiet bit. Don't swim in the quiet bit. If it's all quiet, it's probably not one massive rip. It's not how it really works. But if you're at the beach, there's the wavy bit and the not wavy bit. Stay in the wavy bit. And if the lifeguards are, are not there, don't go in. You know, play it safe. That is, that's my PSA. That's my PSA to you. Otherwise, have fun. Have fun and enjoy the beach. Splash around. Go and jump in the ocean baths. Go in the wavy bit. Find your local Australian and go, Oi, I am a bit nervous about the water. And you know, get some get some pro tips. Do, 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 do. Uh I don't wanna spoil the other one, Silver. Um There's one that might be uh, I guess in the spoiler zone? I don't know how to say it without it. I mean, even saying it's a spoiler is a spoiler, right? We, if if you're in the stream and you know the other one, uh, don't mention it. I just hope everyone has like a has a fresh one. Yes, Sylvia. Yeah. yeah. Just think. I think we should. If anyone that's here and knows what we're talking about, um. We don't bring that one up so people get like a nice little excitement if they uh, do that quest. I think. Blue and uh, Ian, thank you so much for follows. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna spoil for Rev. Ah, oh, dang it. Honestly, Lil, mine was pretty borderline. Someone was like, "Did you catch the blah blah blah?" from the blah 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 and I was like they didn't say specifically but I'm like the fact that it's being encouraged kind of is a bit of a giveaway hey <laughs> but hey oh yeah true the feather ball because they fly good point good point ah stop hurting my lad which quest should I do for this spoiler I think it'll be pretty obvious, Joe. If you if you read the dialogue when you get given your quests, if you I trust you, Jake. You, you you've been here for a while. If you possess critical thinking skills, which I believe you do, you will read the request from the person and go, oh, oh, and you will you will know. So I'd say just chat and pick up quests. It's pretty early-ish. It's not like dummy early, but it's like first couple of hours early. Um, so I, I reckon you'll, you'll know it when you read it. For risk of giving any more spoilers. So far, PDJ, honestly, loving it. Like, even after stream yesterday, I was just like rolling around and like, I was like, huh, I, I might actually set myself a goal to like 100% the Pokédex, because I'm insane. Um, we're going around and be like, oh, what do I need to do for these ones? I need to feed some of these guys and just like catch them bits and pieces and then being like, okay, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, murdering Bidoofs because they're just so happy. Um, you know, I'll go and walk around the corner. Oh, here's an area I hadn't actually seen before. Oh, up here on this cliff, blah, blah. How do I get up here? Oh, I can jump up using this guy. Like there's actually a lot of spots that I, you know, rediscovered from where we played yesterday. Um, it's really cool. I'm very much enjoying it so far. Go away, Mercury. <laughs> go away. I need to, um, oh god, I need to get better at this thing. So you can uh, actually hit them with, uh, I need to reorganize my items. Hit them with the, like, the mud balls or the, the stanky fruit. 
if they're chasing you down and it stops them chasing you down so you don't have to get into battles. I need to reorganize my bag as well. Uh, uh, I'm not discard. Uh, and where's this stanky thing? Here. Put the berries next to that. Should be good. Morning, Jose. How are we doing? Uh, Al Alan's still sleeping. He's good. Cinnamon is... She was in the window. Cinnamon will have evacuated, so they're probably hassling out Alan. <laughs> yeah, Re oh, Rebel will absolutely do the 100% decks. He'll, he'll persevere with that. That's very much a him thing. He will absolutely go for that. Boop. Oh, missed him. Dang it. <laughs> Things like circling me. Ah! Should we actually check what the um? Oh, I fed him a bit. <laughs> the drift loon's like yoink. I'll take the berry. Uh, um, defeated with ghost type. Oh, okay. Defeated with ghost types. Number defeated. Caught. Caught at night. Okay. Yoink. Completed the net decks in BDSP as well. Oh my god. Need something to do when your parents leave. Seriously, this will you'll have, honestly, you'll need to have another kid to to have more parental leave to finish this game. I think. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, there is a lot. Plump beans? Me. Um, there is a lot to do, and it's, it's so far very, 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 very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Ooh. Hi, Tangle. Hi, buddy. You want you want berry? Oh berry berry. Eighteen months per kid. Holy dooly, that's outstanding. Let's go Sweden. As in like full stop. Both parents as well. That's fantastic. I get a hell yeah for Sweden. In Australia, it's it's twelve months for for the bearer of the child, and then I think a month to three months for paternal leave or for spousal leave. So for the person who didn't, you know, eject the baby from their body. But um, I don't know if it's if they're uh, going to be increasing that or doing things to increase that as well. And a lot of businesses will do like things to accommodate uh, additional requests 18 months that's wow. also makes sense oh he does just put some to sleep of course he does but like haven't actually seen it do that maybe yet. Actually, I probably need to catch this Burmy for the variation, hey? It's probably going to be a Pokédex thing to catch him. Six weeks? No, Bloom! Mate, I you eat at Chipotle and you need six weeks off work, let alone having a baby, like Oh my oh my god, there's a wall range, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you wandering around this game and then I'm like, oh I wandered into the murder nest of <laughs> some Pokemon. Uh, oh my gosh. You like berries? Can you go away? I totally missed that hit. Where are the kitties? Come back here, kitties. I feel like, why are these? Can you reorder the way that your quick menu is? Because I feel like... 
Oh, maybe I just went the wrong way. Maybe I was just clicking through like the long way around. Does the cats eat berries? <laughs> Yeah, time's giving it food, yeah. Cool. Let's feed a couple of these ones berries and get the tasks done. Here we get some snacks. I'm really curious, and again, no spoilers if you know. I'm really curious when we're gonna get like our first um Hisuian Pokemon. I feel like in the gameplay stuff, like there was a Growlithe in the sand. Oh, you ran away. There was a Growlithe in the sand somewhere. So maybe we'll find one of our first lads soon. Come on, eat your bicky. Eat your bickies. You can take three months at your job in Florida, but you have to have 480 hours of paid days off to guarantee pay. Excuse me? Unpaid? This is your local Australian petitioning you to come immigrate to Australia. Come over here. Come here. Get your, get your citizenship. Come to the barbecue. Uh, come to the Triple J party. We'll, we'll, we'll get you ice creams and a floaty pool and 12 months paid maternity leave plus job security because it's illegal for you to be fired from your job for having a baby and taking time off. <laughs> come on down. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Spin the wheel. We have got nice beaches and coastlines. Ooh. Maternity leave for you. Ah. No go. Ah, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> we will make fun of you in a wholesome, friendly way. Because you'll be like, what's a Tim Tam? This is so weird. Ooh ah. But deep down, we love you. <laughs> oh wow so if you don't get so pdj saying for sweden if you don't want to um if you don't get paid for every day you use five out of the seven days stretch it to 18 months to 20 into 25 that's actually yeah that's smart <clears throat> depending on like um yes that's just self <laughs> yeah i was gonna say depending i guess on like income and stuff you you could if you've got like savings or if you have particular types of jobs and stuff that's wild <clears throat> Too many spiders? Silverfoot. Have you listened to episode one of the A to Z podcast where we take you on a on a tour? We take you on a on a verbal tour about spiders in Australia? Episode one? I guarantee you, especially if you're living in one of the major cities, if you're living in like if you're living in Newcastle, right? You're living in Sydney, you're living in Melbourne, you are not gonna see a spider. Like, maybe if you live in a place that has a backyard, sure. You're going to have to go out of your way to find spiders here. So that's all I'm saying. We'll teach you. I'll teach you how to catch them. I'll teach you how to catch them. I got you covered. You know? You know? <laughs> Lil, you're coming to Australia. Don't say you're like, oh, I'm not going to go to Australia because yeah, that's a lie. That's a bold faced lie. You're going to, you're coming to Australia and you're going to enjoy it. I'll take you to go see the animals. I'll hold your hand. It's all good. <laughs> you're coming. Ever heard of arachnophobia? Yes, I'm like married borderline. I'm engaged to an arachnophobe. You think arachnophobes don't exist in Australia? Alan will like not sleep in the room if there is a spider in the room, like full stop. We'll refuse. I, I get a, a five minute timer to remove the spider, otherwise he's getting the death spray. Also, yeah, yeah bug spray exists also. We got you covered. We got you covered. There you go. He, here's the hack, ready? Unless you've got a partner already. Uh, marry an Australian, we'll catch him for you. You know, you, you get a free bug catching service with each Australian. <laughs> Alan hates spiders. Like his mum was just always afraid. So then, you know, he learned to be afraid. He still gets by, you know. Before he before he had me, 
you just use the bug spray or yeah, a pair of flip-flops, you know? <laughs> we got you covered. Honorary Australian Spider Hunter Deluxe. I, I approve. I approve. And that's just those tiny European spiders, in which case you're going to need to do the advanced course for the zoom. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's chasing me. <laughs> I'll have to give you the advanced course for the big boys. But I approve. <laughs> oh God, there's that wall rain again. Okay, let's, let's not get absolutely wrecked by that thing, hey? Star Ravies are so aggro. The missus, your partner's also arachnophobe. Bless. We we just we do all the heavy lifting in these relationships, right? Right. <laughs> Catching the spiders. That's it. <laughs> uh, you want berry? We gotta get a heavy ball for the Perugly, because that boy heavy. Tonk. <laughs> oh no, Alan doesn't like any spiders, even if they're small. So we, we do get small ones, like, um, I guess my comparison for a Dutch spider. <laughs> I think I've told this story before. Um, for the, for um, GoFest Dortmund. GoFest Dortmund, I went to uh, Netherlands first, stayed with the Reversal, uh, and then we went to Dortmund for the GoFest. Mad shout out, absolute legend, thank you for the hospitality. Um, <laughs> I come out of the bathroom and he's like, oh my god, there's a huge spider in, in the living room. And I'm like, oh, like what's, what's this huge? And he's like, oh my god, this thing's massive. I come out into the living room and I'm like, where? Like, where is it? What is it? And Rev Reversal's like, oh, there, like on the wall, this massive spider. And I'm like, where? <laughs> where is the spider? It's like, I walk over and it's like, this big. <laughs> I'm like, oh, massive? He's like, yeah, he's like, that's a, that's a big one. And I'm like, All right. <laughs> like, do you want to get rid of it? And he's like, yeah, sure. He's like, oh, I've got spray. And I'm like, I'll just, I'll, I'll get it. It's fine. Went and got a cup, <laughs> just threw it out the window. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. Massive spider. Bless. But more often, if you're going to get a spider in your house in Australia, it's probably going to be one of those little, little, little boys. Um, yeah, our, our big boy ones, they're doing their own thing outside. They need the leg room, you know? They need the space, the leg room to roam around. They're probably not going to be in your house that frequently. So, you know, you can dodge. You can dodge most of the big boys. <laughs> Look, I'm a different breed. Look, my first catch and release ever was a tarantula, which we literally never, ever... I've never seen one again in my life in Australia. They are... Dummy rare. It wasn't a it wasn't a funnel web. It was a literal tarantula. It was on my special K. It was on my cereal. I was four years old. And that was my first catch and release. Was a spider the size of a grown man's fist. Um and from then on I was like, oh yeah, they don't really do much, hey. You don't like they're not gonna like they're just kind of there. You can just hit them hit them with a well not hit them. Just chuck a Chuck a container over its head and you're good, you know? I totally missed that thing. I swear, I waste so many of these balls. <laughs> Decent science hunts, yeah. We, um, we're in, we're in the huntsman zone. It's, I, it's so wild though. Like even, so growing up in Newcastle, I've like lived in, or grew up in like Ellie Barna and stuff. So like that side of the lake, then been further into town, then like, all within, you know, a 20 meter rate, 20 minute radius, 20 meter radius, 20 minutes of each other. But the, the variety of spiders and stuff or like lack thereof is crazy. Like growing up in Elibana, like my backyard was literally like wolf spiders for days. Every summer there was 30 spider webs in the backyard. Cause it was like, it was kind of curved around and like this bit we didn't go into 
there was just like pop, 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 like massive meter wide spider webs every summer. Um, then where Al and I were previously living, like literally nothing. We had like a billion bees, but like no spiders except for like tiny little jumpy boys on the plants. And that was it. Like nothing. Full stop. And like another place we've lived was like huntsmen's were like, hey, mate. How you doing? It's huntsman zone. Like it's wild. Just 20 minutes to 20 minutes away. The different options. You keep the funnel webs. <laughs> uh, I'll, we'll keep them. We'll keep them. As I mentioned in the podcast as well, um, with the funnel webs, uh, also caught one of those when I was like in year three. We donated it to the um, the reptile park because they use it for the anti venom program. I haven't seen one since. I haven't seen one since I was in year three, and I still live in the same again twenty meter radius. Haven't seen a funnel web. And it's like, you know, how can you go almost thirty years or twenty years since then? Twenty years almost without seeing one. Like, it's just not. You know, unless you go and looking for them or that sort of thing. Oh, look, that's mad. That's pretty massive. Like a proper, proper hand-sized one is like. I, I, again, I'm not. I'm not throwing shade. If someone's got a fear, I'm not being like, oh, "Why are you scared of spiders?" Like, phobias are called phobias for a reason. You have no control over it. Like, it's not. You know, I'm sure some people can can you know, work on it or get better at it and all that kind of jazz. Uh, but it's not a requirement of being a human, you know. Phobias are a thing. They're valid. I'm not, I'm not sassing. That's totally fine. Um, but we have options for you to avoid them. I don't want to fight this villain. He's too cute. King Mars takes spiders over bees anytime. Our bees are really chill. I would, like, do my, do my exercise in the backyard and then, like, set up uh, in between the flowers, so I wouldn't hit their flowers to interrupt what they're doing. They were very, very chill. Be oh my god, is that an alpha machoke? Jesus, he's gonna alpha machoke me out. But like I was gonna say, if you're in um, uh, even Northern Territory, um, Stu, have not been to the NT yet. I would love to, but your huntsmen's are like, <laughs> your huntsmen's need like a packed sandwich lunch to go out for the day. Like those things are thick. Ours might be like, our huntsmen's get to like palm size too. If you get, you know, really big boy ones, like the legs will go out there. But like the ones in the NT are girthy and it's concerning. <laughs> Sin, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sin. How are we doing? Thank you for the sub, lovely. Appreciate it. Oh, not high enough. Eh. Oh, he's sitting on the, he's, he's sitting on the cliff. Uh, I just want him to go and get the app. I want to see him sit on the cliff again. That was so cute. <laughs> Let him sit. Dang it. I just want to get the apricorns, but now I just want to see him sit on the... Thank you, thank you, Sin. <laughs> your luck, Lil, will be going to Australia seeing all the spiders because you're terrified. It's like the person that's allergic to cats, the cats will always go to them. Four year olds, no, so four year old, four year old me. Battery 90%. Sorry, that was my headphones. I thought the music dies in this game and it's like, it's weird silent. Um, Four-year-old me caught a tarantula. I don't think I don't think it's like the New South Wales tarantula is that big of a deal in terms of um, venom. Um, Eight-year-old, ten-year-old me caught the world's most venomous spider. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, yeah. I was four when I caught the tarantula. <clears throat> I was instructed, by the way. I had parental supervision on how to catch the spider. <laughs> They're very slow. They're very slow. Uh, Doug, you were the go-to person for catching killing bugs in the school for some reason. They were like, you are... I think I've told the story as well before. I've told the story, um... Oh, in Darwin, winner. Dude, I want to go. I want to I go visit. I want to see everywhere. More concerned about snakes. Yeah, absolutely. That's a thousand percent valid. Because the huntsman 
the huntsman's not going to do anything to you. The snake's going to be the issue. Um, I think I've told the story. I had to catch a, a spider with my bare hands out of the car here once. My friend was driving the car. She's not a fan. Not a mad fan of spiders. Full car of people. So it's like <clears throat> me, in, me in the back, her in the front, her partner in the side, Alan in the back. No one is like... I see this thing like walking on the roof of the car and I'm like, oh. it's like, come on. God damn it. It's like one of those moments where you're just like, oh, I, swear. I, I know what I have to do in this moment. I know what I have to do. And I'm like, Denny, keep driving normally. I'm going to open the window. Remain calm. There is a spider in the car and I'm about to remove it. Thank you very much. And she's just like, all right, I'm going to do my job. And I'm just, huh? like yoink this like in it one smooth motion windows down bundle up this thing and just like yeet it out the window and I was just like we're all good we're all good we're all good we didn't crash the car excellent good job keep up the great work everyone and I was just like well I'm more concerned if we crash the car and she freaks out like the spider's not going to hurt me uh a windshield to the face probably is so I was like I'm going to pick the, the better option here <laughs> the more survivable option is Grab this spider with my hands. Wouldn't recommend it if you if you know that it's like a, a venomous thing. We pull over the car, but um, we were on the freeway, so we couldn't really do that. Gonna hold it in Tazzy eating breakfast. Turn around. There's a massive <laughs> the kiwi freak out. Oh, bless Bridget. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> that spider was just trying to check to see if you enjoyed your brekkie. It's like anything I can get for you. Com complimentary juice, ma'am? The snack bar is now open if you'd like to have one of our juices. <laughs> His name's Greg. He works the night shift. <laughs> the morning shift. <laughs> uh, uh, answer for the question asked in the first episode. Ah, oh, there you go, CJ's. A low number being set. Well, well comparatively. Everyone keeps saying you come back alive like you're gonna get murdered out in the wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, look. Again, that's probably more, probably, statistically probably more likely than the spider thing, you know? Humans. <clears throat> oh no. Dude, Graz, that's stressful. Had an empty nut container, able to wrap it up. Far out, that's so lucky you weren't, yeah, we're on the freeway. Ooh, cause that's, that's my, that's my mild concern from my end is like, I um, it's like in that situation in the car, I could see what was happening. So it's like, I'm not the driver, I can see, I'm in the back seat and I could see this thing, situation occurring. I have the control to wind down the window, be hands free, blah, blah, blah. Like, just given how humans react to things, like if there's something on your skin and you pull away, I'm like, as much as I know how calm I can be and do whatever in a, in a stressful situation, if I suddenly just had like a spider in my lap in the car, I'm like, how, how would I know that my reflex wouldn't just go, oh, pull my leg away or like accidentally stomp the brake or something where it's like, just your brain goes, oh, reflex crash your bloody car even though you're like I know not to do that logically or like you know if you react then how do you not like continue the freak out sort of thing <laughs> like not continue to escalate it by accident <clears throat> that's fair CJ I think that's fair I think it's I, I did I did set you up to uh to think that it would be a number, so <laughs> Oh the Mercros are back. Go away! Leave me alone. <gasps> Volpix! Volpix! Go oh my god, Mercro, can you please my dude? Oh my god, where's the thing? Eh! Ma Get out of here. <clears throat> <laughs> Cheers. 
Seems <laughs> back fine. Boop. Can you? Oh my god, this thing is like, go away. Leave me be, Murkrow. Leave me be. I want to catch the Vulpix. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Vulpix, do you like berry? Would you like a berry? Boop. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got like my little my little coffee smooth. It's got a bit of peanut butter in it, so it's like doing the the peanut throat thing. Tempted to burn the house temperature. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Was it on the inside or the outside of the window? Oh, William's in the window now. I can see no way this is going to go wrong when he bursts out of the out of the curtains. Uh, Punisher, thank you for the follow. Kenny, thank you as well. Garcia, thank you too. I'm going to try and lure this thing a bit. Actually, oh. <clears throat> Crafty craft. Lovely. Uh, honey. There you go. Get some of that. Get some that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come here, you. Ha! Inside. Oh god. <laughs> That's rough. You're just like, I wasn't ready for this. I did not consent to this. Get this spider out of my face. Thank you. Hola, How are you doing? Good one. It's an Alan. It's a sleepy Alan. Hi. You alright? You alive? How are you feeling? Oh, Alan had his boosty yesterday. He's feeling like ass. But um, they gave it to me in the left arm, oh. so I can still play Civ. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. He said they gave him the booster in the left arm so he can still play Civ. <laughs> click, click. Clickety click. One more turn, boys. Yeah, I haven't I honestly really haven't opened up Go much. I by the way, any Patreon peeps, I will be sending gifts over the weekend, I promise. Um I've just been playing this. But gifts will be coming. Uh they've been darting around leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't uh, got a hope of catching them. Uh you must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my backpack from those APOM? Aw. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think Alan will be taking a couple of painkillers and just playing some video games today. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, what is it over here? Oh, just on 9am. Day before the boys closed, travelled to Brisbane. Oh, nice. What? My five-year-old cousin Padded a snake in the gutter? Is it like, was it the local street snake? Like what? Hello? <laughs> what? Or was your cousin like, oh, snake? And just... <laughs> That's so wild. You'd be like, Toby, no! <laughs> Jessica, put it down! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so wild. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, you didn't get bit, right. You got like literally yoat out of the situation. Far out, dude. That's intense. Oh my god, I swear to god. I have a baby snake fall on me? What? In the middle of your living room. Do you was it supposed to be there? <laughs> Where did it come from? Where did it go? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, the door is like vacuuming itself shut because of the breeze. That is so wild. No idea, but he was used to them. Fair, okay. 
That's so wild. I mean, at least if it's like a python, like it's not gonna, oh god, it's not gonna bite. Like, oh, it's not gonna have venom. But like, far out. <laughs> like, hey buddy, what are you touching? Snake, got a snake. But like, how did it get on your ceiling? <laughs> where was the mum? Where was the, where was the origin snake, you know? That's so bizarre. I mean, in, in Australia's defense, I've only ever seen a wild snake once. Once? Yeah. And I was like, again, like 12 or something. So like, they're not, they're not popping everywhere, I guess. Just depends. Depends where you is. Oh yeah! Do you guys like not have like literally like zero snakes in New Zealand? I always forget that. Is it zero or just like rare, rare, rare? Oh my god, that's an angry progly. Get out. Never figured it out. Oh my god. That's so bizarre. It's just, just my house snake. What's that? Oh, it's just my house snake, you know? It's just, that's where he lives. That is so weird. Don't do the fight, just get the tree. Okay. Oh my god, you have an outbreak of carnivine? Those things are so aggro in this game. I hope you uh, remain alive. <laughs> Growly boys! Growly boys on the horizon! Look, Cap! I see him! Starboard! Growly boys! Let's go. Finally. <laughs> Grawawa. <laughs> Hello to you, Gesundheit. Hello to you too. Oh, what, what, are we doing, we doing voices for this? Hush now, settle down. Oh, hello. Oh, you got a swimmy sw Okay, you're going to teach me how to swim. <laughs> I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you be? Ah, so you're the child from the galaxy team. Uh, I heard now you aided Cleavor and Lilligant, uh, when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. Thank you. Uh, so what brings you to the Cobo Co Cobalt Coastland? Coastlands, oh my god, hello? We have no lord here, much less a frenzy one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. Oh dear. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life oh! to ensure the pup's safe return. Jesus. This game, man, it's just like nature hard. You will die. It's okay. Yep. True. If you were to guess which of these Growlithe would you say is the previous Lord's child? Which one said hello to me? Big one said hello. I think they're both. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're probably both the Bebe. I feel like this is a trick question. I was gonna say the small one. I thought it was gonna be a debate. Like, the little one looks like a baby. How dare you. How dare you make me double, double, double think. Uh, I want me to force launch point before he's ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you, uh, you know my situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? Uh, I'm here to help the air. Uh, oh god. I appreciate the kind gesture truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you're in a situation, might I ask- oh, okay, fine. I make for Fire Pit Island. A survey of fires, fires, 
Fire's Pit or Fire Spit, you reckon? Fire Spit Island. I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. I can we just get smaller text so I can finish the sentence? I read these things like I've never read in my life. Rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. Like, hello? Just put the whole sent. thank you, like a whole sentence in one screen. You need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basculegion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskin, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. The shadowy figures are concerning, of course. There's also the odd lightning that came from that rift in the sky. Like, Lightning's a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in a conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are those who still worship a false image of it. But I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives in Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. Imagine you find him there. It's a nice big, like, bay area. Can I pat him? Oh my god, a Murkrow, I swear. Leave me be, my dude. He's like, can I talk about your car's extended warranty? Leave me alone. Oh, not roost, whoopsies. Can I put some CJs? 100%. Some voice acting would be beautiful in these games. Be outstanding. Would be outstanding. Murder wants some murder. <laughs> you, want be, you want to be part of my murder? You know what they say about us crows, eh? I keep using the menu instead of using the quick thingy. What's up, Crowbat? How we doing? We missed the fun old man. Look, we can, I can I can dub if we find a good one, you know. I'll, I'll dub. Can I give him a pat? Wow. Wow. <gasps> Wee! Oh, oh my god! I didn't actually mean to jump. <laughs> I um, there was a part on a cliff like in the other area last night where I was just like tossing balls off to try. I'll just throw them. Actually, I'll show you. I will show you. Uh, <laughs> so if the game won't let me swim, I'm just gonna cheese it. My, no, I haven't had any like character deaths yet. I've like, I've done the whole like walk into the ocean and you get like reset at the- <gasps> There's a growly! Ah! You get like reset at the um, at the bank, at the edge of the uh, of the waters. Oh, you want a berry? What are we gonna name him? Starly can evolve as well. Oh my god, is he lying down? Is he having a sleep? Look like a magic up when you lie down. <laughs> He's snoozing. Snoring. 
Oh, the heavy ball. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. The heavy ball was much slower than I hoped for that dramatic impact. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he said, excuse me. Oh my, oh my god. Sir? Would you like a berry? Oh, wrong ball. Wrong thing, rather. Come here, you. Yeah. Yeah, you can't run. Cliff's edge, boy. Cliff's edge, boy. Try running. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh. So persistent. Yes, William, what's up? Donk. Call a sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. What? Oh, sorry, the door's closed. Okay, sorry, that's valid. That's valid. Sorry, the door is blown over. Sorry. Hey, it's Link. Hello. Snorlet. <laughs> well, hello there, Mrs. Zoe. Fancy running into you out here. Uh, I'm gonna hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? So, so. Just fluff. No need to be humble, I see you've already got your hands on four plates. Are you game plates when you quell frenzied nobles? And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of bearing, isn't that right? Fluff bomb. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Fire typed. Oh no, I love it. Hot dog. Oh my god. I've been wondering, uh, the ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to come from the almighty Sinnoh itself. Uh, eh. Why would they seek to challenge almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Perhaps we get some answers once we gather all the plates. Uh, let's both find more, but please don't over uh, overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. It's all about that cash money. Find is gone. Maybe I will. I'm gonna go hit this tree first though. Dude. Actually, is there any rocky, rocky boys up here? Huh. Oh, big. Ambi. Ambi pumice. Ooh, level 37 though. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, I was going to run away as my first action. Um, uh... Sorry, Growly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 <laughs> Poor little lad. Run away. Hey, appreciate that, TikTok. Thank you. Just name the Growlithe. <laughs> That's approved. Approved. Or lowercase. <laughs> uh, I'm Iskin of the Diamond Clan. Welcome. A galaxy team member with a Celestia... Oh, God. Celestica flute. You must be Zoe. Uh, I have... Have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Uh, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. Uh, why are you here? I need Basque Legion's aid. Uh, so you want to go to Firespit Island? Uh, if you insist, then you probably need Basculation's favourite snack. That should help him warm up to you. 
but preparing his favorite um, is more than a little difficult. More likely an impossible high, impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. Uh, how so? I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but uh, but then you well, you see, the next part is something I could never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. <laughs> Go on. Uh, you really don't know. You really don't value life, do you? It's time to do 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 do. Dusclops. Even saying his name fills me with dread. Uh, the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops's dark pulse. It's the only way you can make Basculation's favorite food, you see. Cool. No worries. Uh, is everyone a galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Uh, is the area looks like a hand on the map. You'll know where... You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. Oh my god. Yikes. I try very hard to avoid these one-eyed Pokemon and so now I know a lot about them. You see. Uh, would you like to wait here until mid until night when that Pokemon appears? So I guess we're going with it. We're going with it. Yeah, I do. I do like Hot Dog. Hot Dog, I think, is a very good name. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> Hot dog. Uh, I need to craft some uh, regular balls as well. What kind of hot dog is hot? <laughs> It's just a hot dog, you know? Just a hot dog. Uh, oh wait, did I miss some dial? Oh, sorry. Hello? Okay, so do I, do I have to get hit by the... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, well, too late. I don't have an option now. I was gonna say, do you reckon I could slide down this, but I don't really have a choice now. Yay, nailed it. Ominous music, man. Uh, does Australia have special ways of dressing hot dog? Um, I'm gonna break your heart. I'd say hot dogs, honestly, not like super common here. Um, they're not like we 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 have them, but we don't. They're not in abundance, I guess. Um, and probably if we're going to do like just a standard hot dog would probably be like, you know, with the mustard, the tomato sauce and the, the stuff on top. But, um, we're more of like, uh, sausage sandwich kind of, kind of like you get a piece of like white bread and like a sausage sausage on it. Like, um, that kind of vibe. Hot dogs like weenies, uh, yeah, uh, not as, we have them, but they're not. Like as prolific sort of thing. More of a so exactly, Dougie, exactly. The sausage sizzle nation. <laughs> oh, with the cra with the crowd, yes, yes. Uh, Yorick. Uh, no, I haven't. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? We're waiting a little further ahead. Please come to me when you have a moment. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, if uh, our, I think, I guess for our like small kiosk sort of sort of situation, Lil, like we still with probably like less hot dog, but there'd be definitely like fish and chips sort of thing. Like there's definitely still unhealthy food. <laughs> uh, but um, 
hot dogs. Hot dogs probably more like if you're at a sporting thing sometimes. Uh, or like a um, Pluto Puff corn dog. That sort of situation. Um, but I think hot dogs just a bit less. Oh, sorry, Grayling. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, run. Am I even going the right way to find the dusk? Oh, there we go, wrecked ships, yep. Cool. <gasps> a gibble outfit? That sounds so cute. One of my chippies, no, sorry, Tic Tac. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, doing good, Custard, how are you? Oh, so do I have to get hit by the Dark Pulse? I have to, I'm gonna have to get hit by it, won't I? I have to catch one. Gibble colored, that sounds adorable. Like, you're gonna have to dark pulse me, yeah? Ah. Damn, that hits hard. Sir? He's brutal. Oh, still no game custard. No. I hope it is sooner than bloody later. All right. Lunch likes doing his best. Nice. I probably should have actually read like what the, the mission was. Like, did I have to catch one or like? Oh God. Oh, it's the balloon. Go away. Oh my God. What is? Oh, the stripes on the back of the dust skull looked really cool. Oh my God. Oh, I thought that was a cliff. I thought I was done for then. Good lordy. Uh, I might still be. Ooh, that was way too high. Oh my, oh my god. Boop. Dang it. Uh, eh. Oh, his name is not like Thick Boy. <laughs> the best. Uh, did you bring it? I, I sure did, Skip. Boop. Hey, Lab, how we doing? What's up? Don't, don't bring it out. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I guess I'll go do my part seeing now. Um, they're determined you are. To go to that island of Vasky Legion. I ask uh, Polina if the growlers she takes care of can help me with this bit. But you need to help since, well, making this snack that you'll be accepted by Vasky Legion. Once I give you the signal, I uh, have that dust bops of yours use Dark Pulse. Is he like, is he not saying its name? Like, is it Voldemort? Like, he won't say Dusk Bops? You can do it, mate. Come on, it's okay. <laughs> Go! A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basculation's favorite snack is now ready. <laughs> Ball of Basculation food. That looks delicious. Both the aroma and the shape are perfect. It's a perfect ball of Basculation food. Uh, let's make, uh, for Ginkgo landing, we can summon Basculation there. I eat. 
I uh, where is oh there's the thingy okay um let's try and let's quickly 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 uh fast travel to here eh quickly heal up and then go see if we can get inside that little warp hole thingy and see what happens oh, hold on I actually want to heal maybe if I don't sleep Ah, oh, still the same thing. Hopefully it doesn't dissipate by then. Cool, we haven't been into one of these things yet. Let's have a squiz. I don't want to get destroyed by the drapey on though. Oh my god, is that thing already angry at me? Group, you could do not. Eh. My, I'm poisoned? I'm poisoned? Oh my god. Can I take something for my health? Uh. Let's tumble it. Walk it off. Walk it off. Beautiful. Walk it off. Walk it off. Excellent. So I think apparently stuff caught in here is like stronger. But like I've got no frame of reference because I've never been in one of these little thingies before. Boop. Like I, I, that's I, I've got no clue hey Reva. I'm just like am I about to get like my life end oh god, I'm about to get my life ended by this thing, aren't I? Ah! Oh, I'm poisoned. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Got him. Got him. Got him. Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. Come on. Walk it off. Walk it off. Catch the drapeon, dude. I've got no chance. That thing will like delete me. It probably be like level twenty billion. I can give it a berry. Let's <laughs> give it a little snacky snack, you know? Oh, it's the other thing. Tent. The scoopy. Ready? Regular ball, just going straight in. Oh, you took your snack. Big boy was going to go for the snack. Ready? Oh my god, I swear to god, little scoopy. You pest. Get him out of the way. Can I give Big Boy a snack? Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. <laughs> ah, this thing will like ruin me though, won't it? Oh no! Oh no, it appeared. Wait, what? Wait, it appeared on top of this one? I'm so confused. What just happened? I don't know what happened, but it's I'm okay with it. Hello, Airboy. Flareon? What? Okay. Alright. What the hell? Oh my god, quick oh my god, oh my god, um I guess just start lobbing balls like like your life depends on it, hey? What the heck? A mime vapor. Oh my Jesus. Okay, I think the other, I think it hadn't loaded in correctly when I walked into it. It was just the aura thing. Uh, oh no, they're not gonna be happy. Um, 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 <laughs> oh dear. What the heck? This is cool. Literal chaos. Yeah, I think it. I think it hadn't. I think the little bubble hadn't actually activated when I was in it. I think it was like showing like one's gonna happen here, and then while I was in it, like this is now what's happening. 
Holy dooly. Uh... Time to shift, yeah. Cool. I... Figuring it out. Oh god, we're in double battle. Oh, Vinny, no! Little Vin! Go, Phil, take it over. Holy dooly. I love that scream with the Pokemon that open their mouth when they use the Agile style. It looks like they're going, yeah! It's my favorite. Strong style. Oh my God, these things hit so hard. I'm so sorry, Phil. I'm so sorry. Uh. Ah, uh, well, it's got ground, so we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We'll go lunch lax. Can I probably tank some of the hits at least? Holy moly. Um. Oh my god. I'm gonna try and catch it. I don't know if this is gonna work out for me or not. That's fair, Sean. That's fair. Finish what you're playing, and if you're if you're still keen for it after, you know, go for gold. Oh my god! Skun tank, no! Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to like quick attack kill this thing because um, it is gonna delete my whole team probably before I can catch it. Far out. Hide. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna go quick save here. Holy moly. Um. Oh, whoopsies. And then revive my my friends. Oh my god. Oh, save the babies. Holy dooly. I went from zero to hundred real quick. Goodness gracious. All right, um. <laughs> oh my God, Alec is, uh, balls. How do I even, I don't have enough balls and stuff as well. Oh my God. It's running a red slip moving. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, crafty craft. Do I even have enough resources for this? Some of those. We need some of these. <laughs> oh my god. Far out. Um. Oh no. So the problem is, if they get aggro, carnivine. Dude, this is crazy. I'm like too scared to like leave my little patch of grass. I don't want to leave. Another Eevee! Could also be um getting stuff done for like feeding quests in here too with how much they just spawn in so quickly. Just throw toss berries out and see if you get um feed quests. You know, imagine getting a shiny in here would be so chaotic. So chaotic. You'd be like, how do I even like get you and not lose you? Ugh! What? Hello? Oh no, I hit him by accident. No. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Do I have any mud? Do I have any? Oh my god, these things. Help. Help. Help, help. Uh. Oh, no. 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 There's three of them. Oh, no. Let me out. 
A Magnemite? Oh my god. No, why did I leave my protection? Oh my god. I'll just hide behind a rock. I don't know if that does anything. No. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. It doesn't do anything. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Run! Run, run, run. Oh, come on, don't. Can I have a- can I eat a berry? Don't. Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. For far out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Stop. I just want to explore the wilderness. Oh my Jesus. I shouldn't have left my one little safe spot. Okay, we good? Okay, we're not being pursued this very instant. Far out. A dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Good lordy. Right, it's gonna go give me a second, I'm gonna change my pants. Um, what? What in the hell? Okay, that went 0 to 100 real quick. PSA. Look out for those. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna go, just give me a sec. I think someone peed in my pants. Um, I'm just gonna have to go sort that out. <laughs> Far out, dude. That was bonkers. Want a bean? Oh, don't die, redemption. <laughs> so here's the here's the issue, right? The like Pokemon like this, the Spiel, the Bidoof, that kind of thing. They're so cute, but there's still requirements to defeat a number of them. And I'm like, I don't want to. I'm like, look at this guy. He's so happy. I can't hurt him. Why would you make me defeat him? Boop. Holy moly. Look, we survived. I should we save. I think we go for a quick bathroom break, a rehydrate, refill your waters, whatever it may be. Dude, Void, if you just missed, we were in one of the time distortions. Things got real bad real quick. Far out. Oh my god.